Not now. It's on? Yeah. Okay. So, welcome to HelloFresh Take One. Um, today, uh, my hubby and I are going to make Italian pork sausage pizzas. So, it, those that watched our, us, or me open the box um, came with all these cards for all the meals that we picked. Um, so, this is our first time. We kind of took everything out. If you can show them, like, all this stuff. Um, we got, like, our ingredients out that came in the box. We defrosted our pork sausage. We got out all the bowls. Um, anybody that hasn't seen, like, the cooking lady, I don't know her name, but she, this is something I took from her, like, a long time ago. She's, like, white lady. That doesn't help, but anyways, she's kind of boring. Sorry, lady. But anyways, one thing I took from her is that to always have a big bowl out when you cook because as you, like, get rid of, like, ends of vegetables or trash or things like that, just throw it in that bowl. I know we all have a garbage can, hopefully, in our kitchen, but... When you have a bowl, just sit on the counter with all the other bowls and stuff, and you can use it as kind of a little garbage can. It's helpful. So the first thing it says for us to do is to preheat the boiler and cook the sausage. So it says to put the um, pan at six to eight inches. Um, you're putting it on broil high, but put the first pan six to eight inches from the top, and then to um, drizzle a little bit of olive oil, olive oil on the pan while it heats. So I'm just going to put a little bit, I'll use um, my basing brush to kind of move that around. And they said if you can kind of do that while you're preheating, um, that it will help your crust to get crunchy. So you better watch it. I'll use that. Thank you. That's what they're supposed to do when it's Facebook Live. All right. And then I'm going to turn on my pan to a... Medium high heat. I'll, I would put on the fan, but then you guys won't be able to hear my fabulous instructions. <laughs> so we're just going to stink up the house for a minute. <laughs> okay, so I have to take off the casings of the sausage. This is going to be really gross. Please wash your hands before you cook. Although you probably know that part. But Very they don't, important. They don't tell you on your uh, get fresh card, so just so you know. This is like really nasty. I don't even want to tell you what it's like, looks like, it feels like, but if you've never done it before, it's really gross. <laughs> just make sure to like bleach my hands after I'm done with this mess. Okay, so my trash bowl. My, heat, my pan is already heating with the olive oil. And I know we said we were doing dinners, but since we're just so popular, we have plans like 27 nights of the week. So we decided to make this one for lunch. Well, lunch, late, early dinner, whatever. Um, because my girls that are coming over later know we're having uh, carnitas. We're having Mexican night. So we'll have this. Because I can eat this before softball and I can have it for lunch tomorrow. Or something. Okay, this here says like the nastiest thing ever. Like, I feel like I'm taking the pig out of its body or something. It's really gross. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna get that in my pot or pan. Get that the pig guts off of me. I know this part, you can let them look at the sizzling. Not that it's sizzling yet. And those that don't know paper, paper chef, this is a mixing chop. I know I don't I don't uh, sell paper chef either because I don't do that business, but um the mixing chop is like not that expensive and it's amazing. And it's really good when you're like grounding beef or other meats like this. Because we don't normally eat pork, but we are today because can and I have a fresh kid. So we are going to be, why our pan is already in the oven heating up, we are going to be cooking up this sausage. And then we are going to be pickling, pickling, some jalapeno and shallot, which if you don't know, like some people, <clears throat> shallot is just an onion. Really? Just saying. <clears throat> so I bet there's somebody else out there that didn't know what a shallot was. It actually says, mmm, guts. Guts? Pig guts? Yeah. 
That's not. Looks pretty nasty right now. <laughs> but anybody that knows me, I don't really do raw meat very well, so I guess this is gonna take me out of my comfort zone. Yes, you should, Ashley. What? She said she got one of the the thing that you're using in your hand. She said she got one of those for her wedding gift and she never used it. Yes, you should, girl. I mean, it's kind of a pain in the butt to clean, I'm not going to lie, but I'd rather clean it and get it because it's pretty amazing. I should do like a paint and chef show one day because I like a lot of their stuff. So I usually just get like a spatula or something because right now the pig... Stuff is like in between my thingamabobber. <laughs> it's pretty gross. But it's not a hello fresh gross. It just, I just don't like raw meat. Yeah. All right. You are very picky with raw meat. So we're just going to be browning this meat here. Ah! <clears throat> don't burn yourself. Jumped out at me. No, the pig almost jumped out at me. Oh, it's a lot. brown for a minute and wash produce just gonna wash off my jalapeno and it says produce so I guess I'm gonna rinse off my onion I've never done it before probably don't need to because that's weird but just in case Stay too dry it too, so it says to use half the jalapeno. I'm gonna use like three fourths because we kind of like being spicy. Okay, I'm using my garbage bowl. I'll save the rest of that jalapeno for later. It's pretty strong. I guess you won't have some spice to taste, so. Alright. And then I'm just going to cut it into strips. And I'm using my small bowl. Put that in. Sure, you break that up a little bit. You're gonna get a mouthful of jalapeno. <laughs> and I'm gonna go stir my. <laughs> I actually said that she's gonna see us soon because she, if she leaves now, she could get here in time. Hey, she can have, she can have a fourth of a fourth pizza. We just have like appetizers. <laughs> I <laughs> just started laughing. You guys are welcome anytime. The pan is getting nice and hot. I said use a large pan for this. I probably could use a medium one for the pork next time. Because I feel like it's taking a little longer because they have me use a large pan. But it's okay. Now I'm going to cut my... Onion. Bye, Ashley. Say bye. Good night. <laughs> you said we're so cute. Then using my garbage bowl. Oops. Trying to throw away my onion. <laughs> It doesn't have to be diced, it just says to slice it because you're going to be putting it on your pizza. So really it's um, your favorite, what you want to do with that. 
Mm, Add those to your jalapeno. I can't wait. This is shallot, by the way. Whatever. You're making fun of me. No, it's a shallot. That's what HelloFresh is. Yeah, but I didn't know what a shallot was. Ha shallots. I mean shallot. Shallot's not making fun of you. HelloFresh. <laughs> by the way, HelloFresh called me this morning. To uh, check on us, make sure we've enjoyed our box and welcome us to the HelloFresh family. Thought that was pretty cute. I think her name was Ezra or something. I honestly don't know. I was just shocked that HelloFresh was calling me. Because that was kind of cool. They want to make sure all my stuff came out fresh. I'm sure they would have offered to send me new ingredients or something. They're pretty fresh still. Smells good. It's good. It's just the beginning. The sausage. Alright, pork is almost done. Ah! If your sausage starts flying, turn the heat down a little bit. <laughs> it's too hot. Alright. A few more minutes on this. So in our jalapeno and onion, we're going to put a tablespoon of vinegar, which it comes in this cute little bottle. It almost looks like alcohol, I know, right? But super cute. Comes in this little bottle, Cola Vita aged white wine vinegar. So we're going to use a tablespoon of that, which if you didn't know, three teaspoons is the same as a tablespoon. So I'm going to use my teaspoon to put in three of these. And it says oh, we will need more later for our salad. And then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of sugar. <laughs> Maybe a pinch more. And a pinch of salt. And I'm going to toss this and set it aside. We have now pickled jalapeno and onion. Sounded a little more complicated than that. You want to show them that? So that's all mixed. I'm going to set that aside now so it can soak up the juices. I love vinegar. It smells good. It's because it's aged cola vita vinegar. All right. Our pork is done, so I'm going to turn that off. Sometimes, and you might have to get up this time. Sorry, I know you're comfortable, but we are going to take um, came with flatbread, so we're gonna take that and we're gonna put the flatbread on the sheet. Our Cola Vita product of Italy. We are going to put just enough on it. It says spread evenly so you have just enough tomato to coat in a thin layer. And they used about a half a half a teaspoon, or sorry, half a cup. So I'm going to use my basting brush again to help me out here. I'm sure you could put as much as you like. Okay, you 
you can tell me that after the video, you know, because, um, okay. So it just says to put a thin layer to coat the bottom. We're making a flatbread. That looks good. Remember, you want tomato sauce with your flatbread, not flatbread with your tomato sauce. <laughs> this is not a dipping game. You're cute. Just saying. This one, I got a little bit too sauce happy, but. <laughs> and I kind of like, I've noticed so far with some of the things, like they give you a little bit extra of everything. So if you cook it all, you can just use it later. Or if you don't cook it all, you can use it like maybe later in another uh, recipe. Or if you do use it all, like the sausage came with an extra link. So we can use that to make it super sausage-y. Um, and then they just said I put a little bit of salt and pepper. <clears throat> Oops. I got a little bit too much supper to be deep here. Alright, and then it says. I'm gonna add the topping. So we're gonna do with mozzarella. I'm gonna give you a little mozzarella ball. And it says to actually use your hands to break it into small pieces. And then we're gonna add the sausage, Italian seasoning, and then our um, jalapeno and shallot pickled that we made a minute ago. All this out of water. So this is kind of weird to me, but maybe this is how they do it in Italy. Italy's the bomb.com. <laughs> We're gonna go there one day. Ne Hopefully next year. Next year. This is very strange though to take it off with my fingers, but hey. This uh, means I'm making it with love. Yes, you are. You make everything with love. It is very fresh though. I know that's the name, the game of the name. This is soft. But, no, I mean like the food. It, it's cheese is breaking apart my hands. I hope it's soft. But I'm just like Wonder Woman when it comes to cheeses. I need to keep this towel strapped to me. I feel like I use it all the time. All right, I'm going to use my tongs to put the sausage into the seasoning first. Mm, you should zoom in on this. I'll save some maybe for the salad. Looks very good. Smells very good. <clears throat> oh, that's why we have a broom. Look at that. This pizza heaven right there. And what I like about this is it's going to add color to it. It's 
caution our friends, see him, see how they think. It's gonna be fresh enough for him. <laughs> Chef Ramsay can kiss my butt. Uh, oh. I am Chef Ramsay. Just kidding. <laughs> all right. I, I hope you like all this stuff. I think if you heard he said that. He can kiss my butt. All right, I'm also going to add, this is not anything to do with the recipe, but I just like cilantro. Cilantro's good for the Thanks to my mama. So I'm just adding some fresh lasagna. Lasagna. What in the world? <laughs> Fresh cilantro that I prepared this morning. So if you want to take a look at that. Look at that, guys. This is what Hello Fresh offers. And the broiler is already on. I can already smell it. Um, it says to leave it in there for uh, broil until the cheese is melted and the crust is crisp about five to ten minutes. So I'm going to put five. And we'll see what that looks like. Because I definitely would rather keep checking it than burn the mess out of it because nobody likes burnt stuff. Mm. All right, now I'm going to take a medium bowl. Gave us some spring mix. I'm going to toss together the lettuce or the spring mix. Again, using my trash bowl. So look at all this. Put it all in the same place, not getting all over the floor. I'm going to use um, another teaspoon, sorry, another yeah, teaspoon of vinegar. I'm going to add a little bit more, a teaspoon and a half. Um, tablespoon of olive oil, which again is three teaspoons. The only thing it didn't come with was olive oil, salt, pepper, um, and then of course the cilantro. But normally, I mean, if you're like me, it's this kind of stuff that you have, that was just the pan. Um, salt, pepper to taste. And I'm just going to mix this up. So you have the flatbread and then you have a small side salad. Or if you're filled up with the flatbread, like Ortiz, he doesn't really like salad always. So if for some reason he didn't want it, I could put this aside with maybe some grilled chicken for tomorrow's lunch. Because that flatbread looks pretty um, filling. All right, and that's ready there. We have about three minutes to check the flatbread. So what we'll do is um, all the prep is done. As you see, um, the cleanup really wasn't that bad. Um, as long as you have your trash bowl and you're just using things and putting them in the sink and have it all set up, you don't really create a lot of mess. It's probably going to take me just enough time to, for the flatbread to finish for me to get this cleaned up. And then what we'll do is we'll post a final pick and or we'll come on real quick after we've taken a bite. Like those tasty videos you watch on Facebook where you just want to die because it just looks so delicious. So what we'll do is we'll come on, we'll take a bite, and then we'll be honest. And if it's not good, we'll eat it anyways because we don't like to waste food. But we'll let you know how it is. So we'll be back in a few. Thank you.